Welcome to Switch Corner, my name is Alex and today we're going to be taking a look at my favourite deals across Switch eShops covering the US, Canada, UK, EU and Australia and we've got another massive sale here for you all, in fact there's going to be 20 games on today's list if you can of course pull yourself away from Xenoblade Chronicles 3. So with that luck hit subscribe, join us here for reviews and deals near daily and let's get started. As always then I do have two winners to announce for two $10 eShop gift cards and two more to give away. All you need to do drop a comment down below and the winners they'll be announced in next week's video. Then if you are grabbing anything consider using cornershop.gg for official instant delivery eShop gift cards and you'll get 10% off at checkout with code CORNER. A quick shout out then to Bear, Jeff and Ronaldo as well then who make up our first members of the channel, it means a whole lot. And with that, get comfy, this it's gonna be a long one. Streets of Rage 4 then to kick us off and does this need an intro, a classic side scrolling beat em up and arguably king of the genre on the Switch or at least now alongside Shredder's Revenge. It supports a local and online play and we are once again cleaning up the streets alongside both classic and new characters. The combat system it's great though it looks stunning and it's got a killer soundtrack backing it all up. I just really like what they did here, kept it true to the series but added their own flair and it's a new low price then, 50% off, you can check out my full review in the pinned comment down below. Windjammers 2 then also comes from .emu and it's another example of how you do a follow up to a classic right. The gameplay it remains are largely the same, a sport based around throwing a disc, but arenas they see modifications, we get new characters, new movesets, and the art style it's done in a very similar style to that of Rage 4. Another great soundtrack as well here, it's simple though overall but addictive stuff and as I said the new mechanics to learn they really do add that extra layer of depth. The only thing I will warn on this one, it supports online play, it's great stuff as well, but it was quiet back at launch, so it may be best picking it up alongside some friends or for local play instead. It does have some short career modes, but I'm not sure it's going to keep you coming back all that long. A new low price here then, 20% off, and my full review it is in the pinned comment down below. World War C then returns matching the low price with 50% off, really enjoyed this one, a third person adventure kind of shooter that takes you on a globe trotting journey as multiple characters, they each get their own story arcs. Of course this world though it's overrun with zombies and these they are not your usual ones, they sprint, they climb and it gets incredibly intense at times. I was overall though impressed with this port and since then it's been patched as well which really helped with the frame rate. It unfortunately doesn't have the DLC which I had hoped for and it led to me thinking price wise it was a little higher at launch but now this seems fair. You can also grab a deluxe edition which is a new low price, it's an extra 5 bucks on top of this space game but it's kind of like cosmetics and crap and I'm really not about that myself. If you are though, maybe take a look. My full review again it's in the pinned comment down below. Ninja Gaiden Master Collection then is also matching the low here with 25% off a decent port. I wasn't so keen on the colours for the first entry of the free games, it felt almost like they had softened the image and the colours for some reason, but overall of these third person styled adventures they are great fun, I've always enjoyed them over the years. They honestly don't compare to the original NES days for me, I love those ones, but I still think it's a great use of the character. That will be taking you everywhere though from more traditional locations to futuristic cityscapes. They removed then any online modes for this release but they did pack in all a DLC and extra modes. It also then packs four other playable characters. I'd recommend them but just know finally it is not an easy game as is the tradition with this series. Little and Nightmares 2 then is a puzzle platformer with a great horror vibe to it all as we take on the role of Mono, a young boy trapped in a world that's being impacted by a humming from a tower. You're heading to uncover the truth behind it while avoiding all sorts of creepy characters along the way. Occasionally the camera can be a little awkward down to the angle but I did enjoy it and the atmosphere here it is fantastic. You can check out though my full review in the pinned comment down below and it's here with a new low price, 60% off. I'm also really hoping they continue to expand upon this world because it is just incredibly unique. 
Tetris Effect Connected then is one of four 10 out of 10s I've given here on the channel. It's a masterpiece of design as it takes the Tetris formula and adds it to almost a journey of sorts. It's incredibly well done though and it packs a huge amount of modes that can be everywhere from think relaxed to intense. My favourite though being online competitive multiplayer but then it even has this unique co-op mode. I never thought I'd be saying this with Tetris as well, but it's an audio visual treat this one. The soundtrack is stunning, the visuals honestly even better, and it's personally one of the best demonstrations of the Switch OLED screen. It looks absolutely incredible. It matches the low price here, then 40% off, and my full review it is in the pinned comment down below. Grapple Dog then is one of the few games today that expires soon, so do be aware of that. Jump on this quick if you do fancy it. Released though by Super Rare Games, this is a platformer where you play the title of Dog and you guessed it, you get a grapple hook. Fun level design, the mechanics, the platforming, it's solid, and the levels are 2D, the overworld is 3D. I was impressed, my full review is in the pinned comment down below, and it's a new low price, 33% off. Persona 4 Arena Ultimax then is back matching the low with 30% off and now we got the announcement of the mainline entries coming to the Switch. I'm hoping this can finally get the attention it deserves. An announcement most seemed more upset it was the fighter and not the RPG. It is great fun though this one, it packs a good cast and the mechanics, they can be good for pick up and play or even, you know, they have that depth to master. The story mode in here then for many it may be honestly best left until you've played the mainline entries later in the year as it's essentially a visual novel and it's going to be difficult to follow without a series knowledge. My full review though that is in the pinned comment down below. Shin Sakai Into the Depths then feels like a hidden gem, it's a metroidvania from Capcom that dropped during a Nintendo Direct and it didn't really drum up a huge amount of hype. I love the world though it's underwater and your research location is crushed, now you're on a journey of survival, learning new abilities and managing that oxygen. The aim though uncover what is happening around you and work out is there someone or something else here. It's matching the low price 25% off and my full review find that in the pinned comments. My pick up of the week then is Citizen Sleep. I can't recommend it, never played it, but maybe you will want to join me for the ride. It's a new game so the new low price here only 25% off but I've seen some seriously stunning reviews of this one and I just really like the look of it. It's a tabletop RPG styled adventure and it seems the idea here is survive on a station that's falling into disarray. Looks extremely stylish though, I love the art style and it's heavy on the dialogue as you choose your friends and enemies and hopefully of course wisely. Let me know though if you've played it in the comments down below. Then I'm potentially going to be grabbing a Japanese rail sim Journey to Kyoto and I wanted to see if anyone's played this. It's got 20% off right now. It is super niche so I don't think it's going to be dropping in price too often and it's honestly just kind of piqued my curiosity. I nearly picked it up last night but I'm kind of sitting here right now in two minds. There's something so different about it though so yeah any rail sim players out there that can clue me in please do in the comments. It's a new low price though as well, it's only been released in the US and Canada from the regions that I do cover here, and if I did pick it up, definitely have to review it here on the channel. Chasm then is a quick mention, but it expires before the next under $10 video, so it's here with 75% off, a new low price, and that is a steal for this particular game. It's procedurally generated an adventure platformer that leads to replayability, but it's not a rogue like in the sense you die, it's all the way back to the beginning to try again. It's actually the dungeons that are the focus for the randomization, and then it's packing elements of Metroidvania as well. The story though, the townspeople, they've disappeared, now you need to uncover the truth behind supernatural creatures. I love the visual style here on this one, there's some stunning background work and yeah overall I was really impressed, I actually grabbed it right at launch myself and I wasn't disappointed at full price. Super Mega Baseball 3 then is a fantastic game, can't say I'm the biggest fan of the sport, slowly kind of started to learn it when I moved to the States, went to a few games, but it seems honestly that's more about drinking beers and actually watching anything that's happening. That said though, look, do not let the cartoon like graphics here deceive you, there's some deep mechanics, there's good modes including career, and yeah, I'll link my full review below if it does take your fancy. 
Highly recommended though, as I say, I got into this game as I was actually getting into the real life sport. It looks great on the Switch, really enjoyed it in handheld, and it's a new low price here, that is 70% off, which should be a perfect price point for fans out there. As a discount like this, it's been a long time coming. Soundfall then was another Nintendo Direct stealth drop, and that was recently, so it's here with 25% off, and it's a rhythm-based adventure where actions like movement, dashes, gunfire, it needs to happen on the beat for maximum power. I reviewed it on the channel, and I'd say the base game, it took me around maybe six hours. You do get a sync options as well for the music to make sure everything here is in time. The main issue though I had with this one, the gameplay is unique, it's well done, really enjoyed it, it has multiple difficulties to keep you coming back so you can dial things up, but the visual design unfortunately, it is pretty bland, and each world honestly it outstays, it's welcome. Some fun characters though overall, and a story set around getting back to your world, but not kind of before you find that passion for audio again. Check out my full review in the pinned comment below. Senjin then is here with a new low of 35% off, reviewed it again here on the channel, find that in the pinned comment below, but it's decent, very similar in design or idea at least to Hades, but with a heavier anime spin and with multiple playable characters that have a different combat scheme. I found it quite a bit easier than Hades as well, I will put that out there, and it's all run based so there's definitely some luck in the items that you do find. The main issues? On occasion I did have some frame rate drops, never too steep though, and some of the world design at times not the most exciting, but yeah, I think the pricing here at this point is more than fair, and yeah, overall I think you can have some fun with this one. Paradise Killer then is matching the low with 40% off, we won't talk for too long about it as I always bring this one up, but I was actually thinking about it again as they released a second final record of B-sides now from the soundtrack, and I received that yesterday, and that soundtrack, even if you don't buy the game, just listen to it, it is absolutely stunning, it gives me personally, you know, persona vibes. Few games though like this one as well on a gameplay front, it's a first person detective adventure. The story and the characters are completely out there, you are essentially a god in a world that has to be recreated every millennia due to invading demons. Now on the eve of this next move though to the new home, basically for all the people that live here, the council that actually manages it, they are murdered and you need to get to the bottom of it. Or some kind of vaporwave visual style to it all, and then yeah, my full review it is in the pinned comment down below. Andy Davidson then is our first winner of the week for the $10 eShop gift card. He shouted out Rain World and wanting a bigger price drop. It is a great game, underappreciated, and it seems they are sticking to their guns with pricing because they seem to always afford that new low price. Congrats, so Andy. Drop me an email to claim your code and everyone else. There's a second winner coming up here shortly in the video. The Great Ace Attorney then is here with 38% off and you're getting a whole lot of game here for your cash. Somewhere in the region of 70 hours of content as it brings together the first and the second entry of this popular series. Now I did review it, not on my channel though, I actually covered it over on Switch Up, so I'll be linking that in the pinned comment down below, but it's a gem of a game that tasks you with investigating a number of cases. Tons of mechanics in here though honestly, so a full video it is absolutely needed to see if it is for you, but you'll be in late 19th century Japan and England working through what is those 10 cases. Think everything here from evidence gathering to non-stop dialogue to incredible court sequences, all with a great sense of humour as well, it is well worth the cash. High Ruler Warriors Age of Calamity then gets a discount of 30% off, and while it's not matching the low price, it's like a dollar more, so it's definitely worth that shout out. This is one of the better spins for the Warriors format though, and thanks to the involvement of the Nintendo team, it does a great job of expanding upon this world and story from Breath of the Wild. It did suffer from frame rate issues, though do know that going in, especially the end game, but it's mostly the usual affair here, you know, take down as many dumb enemies as possible. The main reason I wanted to mention it though, the expansion pass, it's got a new low price now, 30% off for those that do want to, you know, build upon this adventure with new characters, additional stages and story. I'm actually adding this to my library as well, so I can't comment on the quality. Our second winner then, before our final game, it's going to Jay Collier, who's no doubt like many, sinking time into Xenoblade Chronicles 3. I will actually review it eventually on the channel, but no doubt that's a week, if probably not more, away, honestly. Congrats, OJ. Drop me an email to claim your code and everyone else. Drop a comment down below for your chance to win in next week's video. 
Doom Eternal then to close us out with a new low of 75% off and this it is a steal. No doubt this is to get those orders in as a physical edition, it just went live over at Limited Run Games. Now that physical is long overdue, but it's not the fully patched version of the game, that is worth knowing. Still though, look overall this is a fantastic port of a game that was no doubt seriously challenging to get onto this hardware. If Fist Scrawler first person shooting though is your thing, this is going to be the game for you. It packs a huge amount of demons to basically hunt out. My full video, it is in the pinned comment below, but it's Doom. Don't think you really need much of an explanation, but maybe take a look there for kind of a performance breakdown. I'll give you a clue as well, the performance mostly solid outside of a few sequences towards the end game. And that is the wig down, if you got this far respect, this was definitely a longer one than usual. Will you be adding anything to the library though or holding onto that cash? With that then, like, hit subscribe. Join us here on Switch Corner for reviews and deals near daily. And I'll see you all on the next video. Thanks everyone.